All right, so now I am on the bottom of page 402. You can use the formula for the area of a rectangle to find the area of some types of trapezoids. And really, um, the area of a rectangle is essentially the same thing as the area of a parallelogram, so it doesn't matter. Um, don't need to do this step, trace and cut. We're just going to remember base one and base two. So this would extend out five centimeters. Where did I get this five from? From the top here. And this is going to be then my nine centimeters. Where did I get that? From right here. And I'm essentially just flipping this trapezoid over. Okay, just flipping it over. And so this is still three centimeters. Okay, uh, arrange the two trapezoids to form a rectangle. Well, now we have a rectangle. Examine the rectangle. The length. The length of the rectangle is 5 plus 9, right? From here to here is 5, and then from here to here is 9. Same thing on top. From here to here is 5, and from here to here is 9, which is 14. The width is the same, 3. The area of the rectangle then would be 14 length times width, or um, base times height, same thing. So 14 is how 5 plus 9 would be the 14, and then it's 3 high, so you multiply that. 14 times 3, 3 times 4 is 12, carry my 1, 3 times 1 is 3, plus 1 is 4, 42 centimeters squared. Examine the trapezoids. How does the area of each trapezoid relate to the area of the triangle? Each trapezoid is half the area of the triangle. Nice. Did I do that right? Yeah. Trapezoid is half the area of the rectangle. Okay. The area of the given trapezoid then is half of 42. So, and remember, one half is equal to 0 0.5. These are the same. So, if you want to get it into decimals, try to remember one half is the same as 0 0.5. And when you're multiplying a half by 42, what you're really doing is saying, what is half of 42? Or you're dividing 42 by 2. So 21 centimeters squared would be the area of each of these trapezoids. All right. All right. Again, if you have any questions, please raise your hand. We can get through this, okay? But you got to raise your hand. You got to ask questions. You got to follow through through on the videos. You have to listen carefully. Pause and rewind if you miss something. If you're not sure where I got a number, pause and raise your hand and wait, and I'll come to you as soon as I can. All right, thanks again for watching. I'll see you on the next one.